Hello, I'm Mr Maths and today we'll be going over a functional skills entry level 3 exam style question. Jade noted the groups of swans she saw. The centre needs these details. Look at Jade's list in the box below, which is to the right. Work out the totals for each. Now, A, B, C, D, E and F. What we have is two groups of five, ten groups of four, five groups of eight, four groups of two, one group of ten, five groups of three. Now what's important to remember here is your times tables. And you're not really going to need to know all of your times tables to answer this question. You're going to need to know your two times table, your five times table, and your ten times table. Because where it says groups of, it's just a different way of saying two times five, ten times four, five times eight. So what they're asking you to do is really recall times table facts here. So if you get your first three questions right, two groups of five, ten groups of four, five groups of eight, you're going to get one mark. If you get the next one correct, you're going to get another mark. So then you have two marks. If you get E right, you get five correct, you're going to get three marks. And if you get all one, two, three, four, five, six of these were correct, you're going to get four marks. Now then you have to total them up. So you're going to get a mark if you total them up. And you'll get a mark for showing how you've calculated this. And it's just simple, isn't it? It's just 10 plus 40 plus 40 plus 8 plus 10 plus 15 equals 23. You could do this the column method or any other way you feel comfortable. As long as you write some form of calculations in there, it's quite possible you'll get the mark. The reason why I'm showing these functional skills entry level three questions are because a lot of them are vastly simpler than what you first imagine. So all through the year I teach times tables, fractions, multiplication but when you come to see the exam a lot of them are actually common sense so this is why I've posted a couple of them online for my students to see so they're not daunted by the test anyway I've been Mr Maths and I'll see you later